All right, guys, so today we're going to look at a brand new product from Razer. And usually you would think that I'm going to be talking about a brand new gaming headset, like an over the ear, like humongous headset from Razer. And to be honest, it's not like that. It is still something that could be used for gaming. But today we're talking about a pair of wired earbuds that have dual drivers. It's the Razer Hammerhead Duo. So let me start this video with saying my history with Razer earbuds haven't been that positive. I've tried the USB-C connected earbuds, I've tried the Bluetooth earbuds, I've tried just the regular noise canceling. I honestly could never find a pair that I liked, I didn't like the way they fit. I had so many complaints about them. This pair right here is definitely something different. Like I said, these earbuds do have a wired connection. We're in a time where a lot of people are going wireless, going Bluetooth, going true wireless, even the over-the-ear headphones. Not many people are thinking about wired headphones considering most of their phones don't even have the headphone jack. But you do have to keep in mind, if you're somebody that's really into gaming and into gaming on their mobile device, most Bluetooth connections have a lag or you have some disconnect there and having a wired connection is pretty beneficial there. So I see what they're going at. But Razer is charging $60 for a pair of earbuds that have dual drivers. So that in itself is actually pretty impressive if they sound good. Let's go ahead and look what's in the box. It's pretty simple. There's no accessories here. There is a little bag that has some extra ear tip sizes other than the manual and the usual Razer uh, decal sticker that's in here. That's about it other than the earbuds. Now, speaking of the earbuds, I will say that the first thing that caught my eye was, hey, these have a braided cable and they do have a braided cable up until where they split off to go into the earbuds. Then it becomes the silicone rubbery type material, which is a very weird design choice for me to have two different textures on the cable. I know that sounds a little nitpicky, but for people with OCD or people that just notice things like that, it's a little odd. These do get tangled up in knots easily, and I would have liked to have had a carrying case because even for mobile gamers or people using them on their Switch or their cell phone, you're gonna wanna have something to put these in and to just ball them up means they're gonna be tangled every time you pull them out. Um, on the right hand side along the silicone part of the cable is your control box. that gives you your play, pause, uh, volume up, volume down. And then on the other side where you see Razer, right around where the Z is located, there is a tiny pinhole microphone. Now this is what you're gonna use for online gaming and talking by taking calls. And to be honest, the mic on here, I was really impressed. Uh, but let's go ahead and do a mic test right here. All right, guys, so now we need to listen to the sound that's coming from the earbuds themselves. Now, keep in mind that the microphone is right here. Um, and to be honest, taking calls and just playing online gaming on your mobile device, this is actually really impressive considering you don't have a boom mic, you don't have something that's sticking like right here in front of your face, you have something that's more down here and out of your way, and it just feels more natural. Uh, but for a microphone that's on an earbud, I think Razer did a great job. Okay, so the other things that I want to point out as far as the design is it does have an angled cable. This I definitely prefer over the normal straight cables. Um, and the earbuds themselves, everything is just a sleek, like stealthy black look. Um, now they do have a good weight to them. They feel premium, like just by handling them. I mean, and I was concerned, I thought with the weight of these, it's going to kind of hang out or pull down. I didn't have any issues with that at all. Now the ear tips that come on these, they fit me perfectly, so I didn't have to go messing around with the other included ear tips. Now I'm going to guess that the dual drivers that are in here is what's kind of contributing to this weight. Now the big plus to dual drivers, if you're not familiar, is most earbuds are single drivers and they have one driver that's trying to do everything. It's trying to do your bass, your mids, your highs, like everything at once. And so most of the time you're getting this muddy sound. You're getting this sound that just sounds um, congested and there's not a whole lot of separation in your sound just because there's not a whole lot of space in the earbud and you have one tiny driver trying to do everything. Now the dual drivers, what they're doing is they have one driver that's trying to give you the bass impact and then a balance driver that's trying to balance out mids and trebles and keep it separated from your bass. So your bass is not affecting the rest of your sound. And it really comes through in these earbuds. I notice a huge difference between these compared to the other Razer earbuds I've tried in the past. Now I will say these are still bass heavy. They still lean on the warmer side as far as sound goes. And what that means really is 
it feels like the crystal clear highs and the clarity is kind of pulled back a little bit where they're focusing more still on bass impact and that rumbling low end. Now, a lot of people prefer that sound signature. I love having bass and having that really thick, thumpy sound, but I also like to have clarity kind of counterweight that so you're still getting the best of both worlds and I feel like with these you're getting more of this side than you are with this side so the one thing I do want to say is if you are a bass head you will absolutely love these earbuds but if you're somebody that likes more clarity or you like a more balanced sound I honestly don't even know why you would be thinking Razer in the first place they're actually always been known for having plenty of bass and they definitely don't disappoint with these sound stage on these is fairly decent especially considering if you're using these for gaming you really want to be able to tell where things are coming from and i think these did an excellent job with this now as far as a media type earbud they're excellent for that as well music sounded really good movies sounded great um, i still felt like dialogue was kind of buried amongst all the other sounds and that still takes place with the music as well like if you're having drums or you're having like thick guitar riffs, the vocals are always going to sound like they're slightly behind that just because the bass is more upfront and doing more than what the others are doing. Like I said, I think for 60 bucks, getting dual driver earbuds, um, even though they're a wired connection, some people still prefer that. People are still hanging on to products and phones that have the headphone jack, which I completely respect. There's still tons of products that have them. So the headphone jack is still out there. This product still has a need and I actually really enjoyed them. But anyway, guys, that's my video on the Razer Hammerhead Duo. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.